So I wanted to give a brief introduction on polynomials. So we're gonna be talking about polynomials for a couple days here. And it's a weird word. I know you talked about polyatomic ions in science. So first, if we're gonna talk about polynomials, we need to know what a monomial is. A monomial is a number or a variable or their products. So what does that mean? Well, it's, hold on one sec. It's a number. Well, we can deal with numbers. So a number is like three or negative four or 0 0.2, right? Those are all different examples of a number. Or it could be a variable, x. It could be y to the third or their products, all right? So that's when we have a variable and a number being multiplied. So you could have 2a. You could have negative 4a to the eighth, b to the fourth. It's all being multiplied. So a monomial is just one of those, or it can be any of those. So what is a polynomial? So you could have a monomial, just one term, which we'll kind of talk about, like 3x. And technically that's a polynomial. Or else it's a sum or difference of monomial. Monomials. So you could have 2x squared minus 4x plus 1. Those are a bunch of monomials being added or subtracted. So we have to be able to somewhat understand when we say polynomial, kind of an idea of what we are thinking about. All right? Uh, so polynomials get different names. What we're going to focus on is naming them by the number of terms that they have. So... So if there is one term, it means nothing's being added or subtracted, it's just like the 3x or 2x, well that's a monomial. If there are two terms, it's what we call a binomial, and it's about the prefixes. So mono means one, bi means two, think about a bicycle. It's two wheels, all right? Uh, and then we have three terms. And that is a trinomial. All right, again, a tricycle is three wheels. A trinomial is three terms. If there's four or more, we would just say it's a four-term polynomial. Or if it's a if it's got six terms, you would say it's a six term polynomial. Or 500 terms, you would say it's a 500 term polynomial. So when we talk about monomial, binomial, trinomial, it's really nice in your head if you know a monomial is something just by itself. So we could say it's four W squared. There's no adding or subtracting. A binomial is two parts, two terms. So how about uh, two X minus seven? got a term here and a term there. Terms are separated by addition and subtraction. A trinomial, that could be something like 4y squared minus 2y plus 8. Three parts. And of course, 4 is going to have more than that. All right. So when we look at polynomials and when we talk about multiplying, you'll hear, let's multiply a monomial by a binomial. Or we're going to multiply two binomials. And so it's important that we understand kind of what that's coming from. Uh, the last thing I want to cover on this before you move into the video on adding and subtracting is just basic simplifying. Now we have talked a lot about simplifying like terms or combining like terms. And this is really no different. So if I have a polynomial that says, mm, there's 
There is a really long polynomial that's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven terms. So the first thing we want to do is identify like terms. Terms that are like have the same variable to the same power. So like terms. have the same variable to the same power. So what does that mean? That means that x squared and x to the third are totally different because they don't have the same exponent or the same power. So when I look at this, I'm gonna start here. I've got five x to the third. Do I have any other x to the thirds? Oh. I have a negative 4x to the third. Remember, we take the sign in front. All right, then I've got a 3x squared and it's positive. All right, well, ooh, I've got a positive 6x squared here. Uh, then I've got negative two, it's just a regular number with no variable. Oh, I have another one of those, they go together. And I've just got that x by itself. I don't leave it out, but there's nothing to combine it with. So if I look, 5x to the third and negative 4x to the third gives me 1x to the third, or just x to the third. 3x squared plus 6x squared is 9x squared. Uh, my x is just hanging out there. And then I have negative 2 and negative 8. They combine to make negative 10. So you will be simplifying. The last thing I want to just touch on is, do you see how the exponents of my x's go three, two, and then there's none, or one, and then the regular number? You want to do that with polynomials is put the highest exponent first and then cascading down afterwards. So you're going to work on some adding and subtracting today, and it's really the same thing. It's a lot of simplifying and combining like terms. All right? Enjoy the next part.